From Facebook to Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, you have plenty of options to connect with people across the world. One metro company decided to study how people use social media here in Iowa. Blue Compass released a study on social media use in Iowa this week. President Drew Hardin joins us now to talk more about this and if anything will change following this week's controversy surrounding Facebook. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thank you for having me. I'm happy to be here. Well, you know, you mentioned that you did this because there really weren't any studies on how people in Iowa, especially young people, use social media. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, there's many studies nationally about how people use social media, but we couldn't find any good studies just from here in Iowa. And we have a lot of clients that are here locally in Iowa and people always say you know Millennials are leaving Facebook mm -hmm. or Twitter is dying so I mean these type of stats really matter to us so we took it upon ourselves just to do a study of Iowans ourselves and just see how our Iowans actually using social media and how did you go about doing this did you call people when did you do the survey it was primarily an online study and okay. we did it about a month or so ago yeah and what, what did you find what did you find that was surprising so one thing that we found that wasn't surprising, first of all, was that Facebook is the number one social media for Iowans. I mean, that's what most uh, Iowans say is their favorite, 43% okay. of Iowans. But what was surprising to us was that younger Iowans, so 18 to 24 year olds, also said that Facebook is their favorite social media. And so we all, you know, I think stereotypically you think like Instagram or mm -hmm. Snapchat is what uh, younger people are using. And they are, but Facebook is still number one with younger Iowans. Yeah, we can see the graphic that you all um, put together from the survey. And yeah, Facebook has, even in that younger age group, a really high usage. Snapchat is kind of on the, the lower, and LinkedIn, it looks like. Those are on the lower end. Yes, yeah. LinkedIn is usually the lowest uh, really? amongst most age, you know, ages in Iowans, uh, which is too bad. That's my favorite <laughs> social media, but, uh, it, you know, it's kind of a professional network. So now this whole week we've been hearing, I guess since Friday, the controversy with uh, Facebook and, and the data usage. What, what do you think is going to come of that? I know there's a hashtag, delete Facebook. Do you think yeah. people really will delete Facebook? Do you think your survey would be different if done in a couple months from now? Yeah, that's a great question. Well, I don't think it's going to have a huge, huge, massive impact right now. And we've seen advertisers, you know, threaten to get off Facebook. And I do mm -hmm. think some people are, are leaving Facebook. Uh, but in Iowa, at least, Facebook is just such a big platform that it's not having any immediate effects. But, I mean, it could down the road. Last year was the first year that Facebook actually mentioned that um, daily users were down. Hmm. Uh, Facebook has 2.2 billion users. I mean, it's, it's incredible. But for the first time last year, daily users were down. So yeah. it's something we're watching really closely. I do think this has been pretty negative for Facebook. And, you know, perhaps this could lead to more and more people, you know, leaving. So we're keeping an eye on it. I don't think it's going to have an immediate effect of, you know, billions of people leaving Facebook. But long term, I think it could. What do you think is the next step for social media? What's the next app or even one that's around now that could take over Facebook? Sure. Well, Instagram has grown a lot over the last few years, which is actually owned by Facebook, ironically. So mm -hmm. Instagram, we think, will continue to have some growth. Um, Twitter, you hear a lot about Twitter, but it actually doesn't have many users. But for the first time, uh, a couple months ago, Twitter announced uh, a profit for the first time huh. in, in months. So I don't know if Twitter is going to benefit from this and more people are going to join Twitter, but that's also something we're watching as well. Okay, well, really interesting. Thanks so much for being here. Drew yeah, Gordon absolutely. Blue Compass and their website, bluecompass.com, right, if people want to dive more into this, uh, this study that you have. Bluecompass.com. Okay, well, thank you so much. Thanks.